Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. Dear students, in the previous video, we get the information about Summative Second, 8th Standard, Kannada Medium, Social Science, Model Question Paper with Complete Analysis of the Question Paper with Answers. Let's come to the, in this video, we are going to get the 8th Standard Social Science, English Medium, Model Question Paper Analysis, the marks with 30 and the time duration is 75 minutes. So, let's come to the, here is the first main. First main which is related to multiple choice questions. There are 4 multiple choice questions, each one carries 1-1 one, one mark. So, what is the question? And what are the answers for those questions? Here is the first question. The capital of Kadambas. Option A, Kalyana. Option B, Baravasi. Option C, Manyaket. And option D, Dwarasamudra. And the answer is Banavasi. Banavasi is the right answer. And the second question. The tenure of Grama Panchayat member is... Option A, 4 years. Option B, 6 years. Option C, 7 years. Option D, 5 years. And the right answer is Option D, 5 years. The next question, the distribution of skilled work is. Option A, division of labor. Option B, distribution. Option C, skill. Option D, employment. And the right answer is Option A, division of labor. The next question. Question number 4. The Indian agriculture is said to be dash with monsoons. Option A, sunburn. Option B, wind. Option C, rain. Option D, crop. And the right answer is Option C, rain. Let's move on to second main. And answer the answer in one sentence each of the following. Here is one mark question. Each one carries one one mark. So question number fifth. Who was the founder of Rashtrakuta dynasty? The answer is Danti Durga. The founder of the Rashtrakuta is that is Rashtra, Rashtrakuta Danti Durga. And the sixth question, what was the reason for Vishnuvardhana was earned the title Talakad Gunda? And the answer for this question, he owned Gangawadi from the Cholas and earned the title Talakad Gunda. And the next question, question number seven, what is atmosphere? The answer for this, atmosphere is the thin layer of gases, dust particles, and water vapor surrounding the earth is called as atmosphere. The next question, question number 8, define planning. The answer is, planning refers to the deliberate actions of the government to systematically allocate and utilize available resources to achieve predetermined goals in the interest of all. The next question, question number 9, how do sole trading concerns help the consumers? The answer for this question, while distributing goods to consumers, the knowledge about the goods has to be given to the consumers. Let's move on to third main. Answer in two or three sentences each of the following. Here is two marks question. Each one carries 2-2 two, two marks. So, question number 10. Name the great scientists of Gupta age. Answer is Varahamihira, Bhaskara, Aryabhata, Charaka and Sushruta. Let's move on to question number 11. But question number 11, there will be a choice is there. Among that, choice number 1. The Supreme Court is the custodian of fundamental rights. 
The fundamental rights are ensured by the constitution. Their violations are addressed by the Supreme Court and High Courts. The fundamental rights are specific in nature and protected by the constitutional law. So this is the answer and let's move on to choice question. Explain the Grama Sabha. The answer for this, the Grama Sabha is presided by either the President or the Vice President of Grama Panchayat or any outer number of the Sabha. Villagers discuss the various problems of village, measures taken to address them and also the future plan of action needed. The Sabha has to choose eligible beneficiaries for the welfare schemes. Let's move on to question number 12. Here is the choice is there among the question number 12. In that first question, describe the features of industrial society. The answer for this, industry based economy, professional works, transport and communication increase in migration. Let's move on to choice number two. Explain the relationship between social institutions and society. So answer for this, every society has its own social institutions. The family educates the children about interacting with society through socialization. Marriage is an important social institution. It provides social sanction for a man and woman to live together. The continuity of the society is ensured through marriage and family. Religion is one of the main medium of socialization. It aids the spread of values. Religion is one of the major means of achieving social control. It controls the human life through God and spiritual concepts. Let's move on to next question, question number 13. List out the social objectives of business. Business produces goods and supplies the goods that are required for the development of a nation. It provides employment to many and pays them fair wages and salaries and helps them to improve their standard of living. Business contributes its share to the economic development of a nation by paying rates, taxes and duties. Business also contributes a fair share for the social welfare of the nation by starting and running of schools, colleges, hospitals and also by maintaining public gardens etc. The next main answer in five to six sentences each for the following. Here is three marks question. Question number 14. Explain the Ganga's literature. Among the three questions, there will be a choice is there. Question number 13. In that choice number one, explain the Ganga's literature. The answer for this question. The Ganga kings were lovers of literature and due to their encouragement to Sanskrit, Prakrit and Kannada languages, many works were written in these languages. Madhava II wrote commentary on Dattaka Sutra. Durvinita wrote the Sanskrit work Shabdhavatara and translated Gunadyas Vadhakate into Sanskrit. Sri Purusha wrote Gaja Shastra and Shiva Madhava wrote Gajastaka, a Kannada work. Poet Hemasena wrote Raghava Pandaviya. Vadiba Simha wrote Gadya Chintamani and Shastra Chudamani. Whereas Nemi Chandra wrote Dravya Sara Sangraha and Chavundaraya wrote Chavunda Purana and became famous. And let's move on to choice question. List out the achievements of Pulakeshi second. Answer for this question. 
the most powerful and noteworthy emperor of this dynasty is Pulakeshi II, overpowering the Gangas, Kadambas and Alupas, he extended his empire. The Pallavas were at the peak of glory in South Deccan, since Mahendravarma did not accept the sovereignty of Pulakeshi. Pulakeshi defeated him when Harshavardhana was ruling in North India. He advanced up to the banks of river Narmada. Pulakeshi stopped him and earned the titles of Dakshinapateshwara and Lord of Peninsula for his daring act. Pulakeshi II could not rule the whole of his kingdom from one center. He appointed his younger brother Kubja Vishnuvardhana as the provincial head of Vengi and Jayasimha as the head of Gujarat province. Question number 15. Let's move on to question number 15. Explain the measures to control air pollution. Control of gaseous pollutants, control of emission from automobiles, planting of more trees, use of non-conventional energy sources, awareness program, legal control, literacy and education. And the next, answer in 8 to 10 sentences each of the following. Here is the phone mark question. In that, choice is there. Among that, you have to write anyone. So, question number 16. But here it is mentioned as a 17. Ashoka has been named as great by historians give reasons. So, let's come to the answer for this question. Ashoka prohibited the killing of animals and birds in his kingdom. Ashoka declared that all his citizens are his children. He declared that all should be loyal to their parents and respect their elders and gurus. He wanted the people to show compassion to poor and slaves too. Leave and let leave, said he. He appointed officers named Dharma Mahamatra to preach the principles of Buddhism. He installed inscriptions all across the kingdom to preach the messages of Buddhism. Preachers were sent other countries as well. A person named Rakshita was sent to Banavasi and another person by name Mahadeva was sent to Mahishamandala. Present it is called as Mysuru. Ashoka is called as the father of inscriptions. Let's move on to next four mark question, choice question. How was the administration during the Vardhana rule? The king's rule was assisted by the council of ministers. The bureaucracy consisted the Maha Sandhi Vigraha, the negotiator, Maha Bhaladi Kruta, military general, Bhogapati, tax official and Dhuta. The kingdom had been divided into provinces. Land tax was the major source of income for the kingdom. Federatory chiefs paid tribute to the king. The king gave, gave them land grants and in return got the help of their armies. When the king became weak, the federatory chiefs become independent. Land grants were given to the other communities and religious people as well. So last main, question number 17. Sixth main, draw the picture relief of ocean floor and mark the following places. So here it is the continental shelf, continental slope, deep sea plain, ocean deeps. To draw one mark, location of the places, two marks. So here is the picture, continental shelf, continental slope, ocean deep, deep continental edge, deep sea plane. So this is about the picture you have to draw. If you draw this picture, you will get three marks. So that's it about today's session. I hope you have got an idea about 
8th standard english medium model question paper and i will come back with the next video with 9th standard kannada medium and english medium model question paper until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye take care